Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, and if you're new here, my name is Lloyd, and I'm a junior corporate transactions lawyer at an international law firm in Hong Kong. In this week's video, I'm going to take you through what I expect to be a very busy work week, given that I have a deal closing and a number of documents that I need to finish drafting to send back to my clients. It's just after 8am on Monday morning at the moment, and I have a pretty packed work day, so I'm going to grab a coffee and get right into it. To give you a bit of background as to what I do without getting too much into the nitty gritty, my work involves advising my corporate clients on various transactions that a company would enter into. For example, clients will often come to us to help them with the sale or purchase of shares in either their company or a company they want to acquire. I also do work with companies in the tech space, and currently we're also working on early stage investment for a tech client. It really depends on what we have going on at any given time, but broadly speaking, within the corporate transactions group, I'm in the mergers and acquisitions team. Today, I elected to work from home since I wanted to save some time traveling to and from the office as I had quite a bit of work on my plate. Monday mornings always tend to be a bit hectic since everyone comes online after the weekend and wants status updates on where things are at. This morning, I started off by reviewing some draft documents prepared by my trainee for a deal that's closing tomorrow and hopped on a call with her to discuss what else needs to be done by the end of the day today so that we're ready for the closing. I also attended a call with one of our tech clients who's receiving some early stage investment and had some questions on their negotiations with the investor. Afterwards, I went to prepare a quick lunch for myself before having a look at our YouTube content calendar and adding some input for the video we were going to put out that week while I ate. So, usually I like to go to the gym over my lunch break, especially if I'm working from home because the gym is relatively close to where I live, but I usually don't go on Mondays since I go on both Saturday and Sunday. I also usually don't eat breakfast and just have a black coffee to start my day since I've been doing some form of intermittent fasting for the last three years. So lunch is usually my first meal of the day. On days when I do go to the gym over my lunch break, I tend to eat afterwards because I prefer to train fasted. Anyways, I'm getting super hungry, so I'm gonna dig in now and I'll talk to you guys after. After a brief lunch break, I get back to work and see that I've received a few more emails from my clients and mostly just prepare things for the completion meeting tomorrow. Not much happens for a little while, but at around 6 o'clock, I get an email from our client saying that they need me to attend a meeting at 6.30 in person to check some documents, so I rush out immediately and head over to the meeting. Thankfully, the meeting venue wasn't too far from my home, so I was able to get there pretty quickly. I ended up getting back from checking documents around 10pm. After that, I had some more things to get done before our meeting tomorrow morning. I end up finishing around 1.30am, put on my blue light blocking glasses, and took it easy for around 15 minutes to wind down before going to bed. I definitely felt the urge to play some video games after such a long day, but ultimately exercised some restraint and decided against it since I had to be up at 8am tomorrow and knew I was going to have a busy day. On Tuesday morning, I got up at around 8am and quickly got dressed and checked my emails for any last minute things before heading out and walking over to the office I was at yesterday for the completion meeting. All of the documents were checked last night, so we were hoping that the meeting would go smoothly, but unfortunately the meeting dragged on for quite some time and we were stuck sitting around waiting for the client's bank to confirm one last thing. We were originally supposed to be finished by noon at the latest, but by the time it hit around 1.30pm and it was clear that we wouldn't be getting our answer anytime soon, we were invited to eat lunch at the cafeteria of the offices we were in. The offices actually belong to the company on the other side of the transaction, meaning not our clients, so this was a super nice gesture. The food was also really good, and I went back for seconds of the spicy and sour beef dish. Aside from this, we were mostly stuck in the meeting room for the rest of the day, so there wasn't really much opportunity for me to film, but I did take a quick look around the offices when we had a break. We finally finished up around 7pm and got that confirmation from the bank, so we exchanged all the documents and closed the deal. We then had to bring back a bunch of the physical documents to our offices, so I did this with my superstar trainee who kindly helped me film this. <laughs> Even though I had some other things I could work on, they weren't super super urgent at the time, so I decided to meet M for dinner at one of our favorite neighborhood restaurants as a nice way to unwind. I was feeling pretty tired after dinner, so I hung out for a bit and watched some videos on YouTube before calling it a night at around 11.30pm. So, I'm up now, it's Wednesday, and it's around 8am. I'm feeling okay, and definitely a bit better after going out for dinner with them last night, but I have another busy day today, and I'm going into the office, so I'm gonna get right into it. 
I'm going to be going into the office today because I have a lot of drafting to do, and I think it'll definitely be helpful to have my ultra-wide monitor in the office, as well as access to a printer since I find it a lot easier to read and review hard copy documents. So, first things first. This morning we had a few things to take care of for the deal that closed yesterday, so I worked on these with my trainee. We also wanted to arrange celebratory drinks as a team since this deal that just closed was pretty brutal and required us to work quite a few weekends, and I usually make the bookings for events like this. I did most of my other small outstanding tasks in the morning since I needed to draft a longer document in the afternoon, but took a short break for lunch when I had some shredded chicken and salad with gravy. Future proof of it. So it just sort of makes sense. Is this one in 2K or 4K? Hmm? Is this one 4K or 2K? This is 4K. Wow. No. I also opened up this package sent to me by a bank we work with that gifted me a small stuffed animal. In the afternoon, I kept working until my boss asked if I wanted to grab a quick drink with him at around 5.30 to catch up, so we went downstairs for a quick beer before I continued with my work. For the rest of the evening, I continued working on the shareholder agreement I was working on on Sunday as it had become quite urgent and I needed to get a draft for my team as soon as possible. I knew I was in for the long haul, so I ordered some butter chicken curry for dinner with some veggies to have in the office. Okay, so it's about 12.30 in the morning. I've just printed out two documents that I'm going to take home with me. Probably need to spend another two or three hours on the documents, just proofreading them and adding a bit of additional drafting. Uh, and then I'm going to send it to our document production team in London who will help me turn it overnight and basically fix the formatting and make it look pretty before I have one last look at it tomorrow and send it out. Wish me luck! Okay, so currently it's almost 4.30. Uh, I'm pretty beat. I just sent my document out to document production in London and I can't talk too loud because Emily is asleep in the other room. Uh, but I'm gonna go get some shut eye. I'll get started again tomorrow at around 10 o'clock and hopefully send out the document before noon. All right, good night guys. On Thursday, I got up at around 10 a.m. and got straight to work. The shareholder agreement got back from the document production team in London when I was asleep, and I needed to check their work and make some final changes before circulating to my team. I did all of that this morning and finished up by around 1pm, after which I sent the draft to the partner and senior associate on the deal. Since I finished right around lunchtime, I decided to have a leisurely lunch and cook myself something nice. After eating, I went for a short walk around the neighborhood just to get a bit of movement in, then had a quick look at the description for our YouTube video which was scheduled to be published later that day. I had a bit more work to get done, but otherwise had a pretty uneventful afternoon. <sighs> okay, so I'm finished my work for the day, and honestly, I'm pretty beat. It's currently around 10.30 p.m. I kind of want to go to sleep, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I need some me time. So I'll probably give myself about an hour or so to unwind before I go to bed. My favorite video game, Valorant, is currently on TV with one of its biggest tournaments of the year. So I'll probably watch that for a bit and then call it a day. And we finally made it to Friday. I slept in a bit and got up around 8.30 a.m. I had a great sleep, so it was definitely the right call getting to bed nice and early. I'm gonna take it easy this morning since I finished and sent out most of the things on my plate. I have a bit more work to take care of, but mostly some administrative things that I need to get caught up on, so I'll handle those during the day. Over lunch break, since I had a bit of time and was really dying to get to the gym, I went for a workout. Nothing on my plate was super urgent, so I didn't rush it and had a full hour long workout.
On the way home, I stopped by the market to pick up some veggies to restock our pantry. After that, I had a pretty uneventful rest of the day and kept working until about 6.30pm, after which I signed off to go to drinks with the team at the place I booked earlier. Everyone who worked on the deal came through as well. Finally, with the week done, I got some me time for the evening and got in a few games of Valorant while also spending a bit of time with Emily before we got to bed at around midnight. Alright, so we made it to the weekend. It's a gorgeous day out today and I've got a pretty packed social schedule this weekend. A friend and colleague of mine is getting married today, so we had a chill morning before heading to their wedding in Kowloon, which is basically on the other side of Hong Kong to where we live. Afterwards, I went to the gym to get a workout in before I have to go back to Kowloon for drinks this evening with my boss and a couple of partners from another law firm. I usually spend a bit more time in the gym on the weekend since I have the luxury of time, so I try and fit all my smaller accessory exercises in for the weekend when I'm not in such a rush. We have a dinner with friends tomorrow evening too, so I stop by the local natural wine shop on the way home to pick up a couple of bottles for dinner. Then I went to drinks in the evening. It was at a private members club and they didn't allow any cameras in the venue, so I didn't manage to film much, but I did get a few shots. Morning guys, so it's currently about 10 a.m. I slept in a bit today since we ended up staying up pretty late last night. After we had drinks with the other lawyers, I had another drink with my boss, and then we went to get a kebab at one of my favorite places. I definitely wanted to sleep in a bit more, but I didn't want to completely obliterate my sleep schedule either, so I decided to get up at a semi-respectable time. So, first things first, I'm gonna get out to the gym and get my blood pumping, and after that, Emma and I are gonna spend some time out and about together. When we get home, I have a shower and spend the rest of the afternoon working on some YouTube things at my desk before we head out to dinner with some friends at our favorite butcher shop. Our butcher is closing shop at the end of the month, which means he'll be closed by the time this video comes out, so we've booked a dinner there each Sunday until then. After a great dinner with great company, I spend the evening with some much needed relaxation time without screens, cameras, or anything just to get myself reset for Monday morning. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you'd like to see more, check out this video for a week in M's life back when she was still a lawyer and check out this video for a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you'll like.